When you have the breath and you have life within, it's a now. I heard the Lord saying, go and tell the people that I'm coming quickly and my rewards are with me. He said, go and warn the people that I'm coming after those who are my people. The Lord God, Yahweh, who is Jesus Christ, said, go and tell the people that I am coming after my people. The Lord is going to pursue. You want to cross? Right. You want to cross? Yes, sir. You've got pain in your body? Yeah. Can I pray for you? What's yeah. your name? Margaret Chad. Margaret? Close your eyes. Father God, I lift up Margaret before you, Jesus, and I thank you that you, Lord God, cover her now in your precious blood from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Father, I just speak right now. Is the pain in your feet? Yeah. My knee. I see, I see, yeah. a, I see your foot. Yeah. So, Father God, I just praise you and thank you that all pain is out of Margaret's knee right now. Mm. Not by might, nor by power. Mama, spirit says the Lord, Margaret, receive your healing yeah. by the stripes of Jesus. Check it out. Yeah. Why do you check it out? It's good. I'm feeling. I'm feeling happy for you. <laughs> no pain gone? Amen. Yes, he is. He's worthy. Yeah, have a nice so, day. So, Father God, we just seal up Margaret's healing in your name, Jesus Christ, and by your precious blood. Amen. Amen. Right. Thanks, very much. It's Margaret. He yeah. is alive and well. Yeah. He's on the throne. Uh, what's your name? Carrie Christian. Sure. You're from China? You're oh. something like American, boy. I am. Sure. I'm mixed up. <laughs> My daughter lives in America. Okay. You want to cross? No, I'm going to. Oh, you're going to. Okay. Have Do you have a number I can reach you by? Or you want to take my number? Yeah. Do you need prayer for anyone or any time, anything? Yeah. Give it fast. Oh, God. It's so nice of Give me. My number 293. 1397. Margaret, right? Margaret, yeah. All right, Margaret. Have, have a blessed, nice blessed day. day. Yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. loves you, love. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All the pain gone completely? Yes. Amen. Walk it out. Who did it for you? Yeah. What's his name who did it for you? Lord, the Lord. What's his name? Jesus. Amen. Amen. Shout that name. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Christ. Come to Christ. I heard the Lord saying, go and tell the people that I'm coming after my people. Those who are my people. It doesn't matter what flock you're in. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what religion you follow. It doesn't matter what your title is. What your status is. The Lord said, I'm coming after my people. Blessings, love. I'm coming after my people, says the Lord. I'm coming after my people. I'm going to do what it takes. I'm going to do what it takes to get your attention. The Lord said, I'm coming after you. I'm going to pursue you, says the Lord, before Satan ruins your soul. I heard the Lord say, those who are his, he knows. He knew from the very beginning who would believe in him. He knew from the very beginning who would receive him. Jesus loves you. He knew from the very beginning, before he even made the world, who would receive him. And I heard the Lord say, I'm coming after you. Now it's one thing for the devil to come after you. But when the Lord coming after you, you see, from Satan you can run, but from God you can't run. God is in every single place. I heard him say, talk about Jonah. Tell them that no sign shall be given except the sign of the prophet Jonah. I come to tell all those who say Jesus Christ is a prophet. I come to tell all those who said Jesus Christ is a prophet to go into the Holy Bible into the book of Matthew in the 12th 
chapter, verse 39 to 41. He said, one greater than a prophet is here. That Nineveh repented at the preaching of the prophet Jonah. But Jesus Christ, one greater than a prophet is here. So all who say Jesus is a prophet, I tell you the word of the Lord is sharp. It's about to cut the foolishness down. Matthew 12, verse 39 to 41 tells us plainly that one greater than a prophet is here. One greater than a temple or the body is here. One wiser than Solomon is here. He is the Lord God. But did you esteem him? And do you really want to know him is the question. The Lord says, He's about to shake down shaky foundations. The thing that you've put your trust in, he's going to shake it down. The thing that you said, I don't need Jesus for, and I'm not going to worship Jesus alone as God, he's going to pull it apart. He's going to rip it to shreds. He's going to leave you suspended in the air. Until you find him, the firm foundation. He's going to break knees to bow. If you don't bow willingly, the Lord says, hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh. That on the day of redemption, his spirit might be saved. Hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh. Pride is of the flesh. And every work of the flesh must die. That Christ must live. I heard the Lord say, Hand this man over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh. 1 Corinthians 5.5 5. The Lord says, if you can't hear, Jesus Christo es Dios. Necesito sangre de Jesús. Necesito baptismo Espíritu Santo, entiende? Jesús viene pronto, poco tiempo. ¿Sí? ¿Cristiano? No católico. ¿Cristiano? ¿Cristiano? No. Neces tú tampoco. Mira, mira, mira. Eh, creo, creo en corazón. Sí. Eh, hablo, hablo y más. Ahora. ¿Sí? Hola, Clara, ¿todo bien? Yo creo en corazón. Sí, eh, confes confesión. En más. Ahora. Jesús Cristo es Dios. Repito, por favor. Eh. Jesús Cristo es mi. ¿Cómo se dice Savior? Salvador. 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 It's similar for healing. Salvador. Salvador in Jesus Christ's name. No? <laughs> similar? Okay, so repeat. Repeat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Es mio Salvador. Mi Salvador. Mi olibido. Mi olibido. El mundo. Ahora. Repeat. Believe in corazón. I, I forget. I forget the world. I forget religion, tradition. Dios. Is that a? ¿Cómo cómo se llama? Nazaret. 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 What? Okay. So. I'll order now. See? Repeat it, por favor. I come Yo vengo to Father God. Al Padre. To Father God. Al Dios Padre. Al Padre. Close eyes. Close. Say Father God. Padre. Father God. I come to you. Vengo a ti. Vengo a ti. A sinner. A sinner. Ah, la mija que tú fuiste que no me dices aquí. Enviarte. Enviarte. I'm sorry. 
Lo siento. Lo siento. That I did not come. Por no venir antes. Sooner. Por no venir antes. A ti. But I'm here now. Pero estoy aquí ahora. ¿Eh? Estoy aquí ahora. Sí. Sí. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Gracias. For Gracias. coming. Por venir. And living a perfect life. A perfeccionar mi vida. Perfeccionar mi vida. Para mí. Para mí. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. For dying. Por darme. Por darme. On the cross. La, en la cruz. Por morir en la cruz. Por morir en la cruz. For my sake. Por mi salvación. Por mi salvación. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. For being buried. For being buried and rising to life, and rising to life in three days, for me, for me, resurrection. Yeah. Thank you. Gracias. For saving, for saving my soul. So thank you for saving my soul. Gracias por escuchar. De nada. Thank you. No. Repeat it, por favor. Say. Say thank you Gracias for saving por salvarme. my soul. Por I confess you now, Yo te ahora. Jesus, Christ, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, as my Lord God Como mi Señor. and my Savior. Como mi Salvador. From this day, Desde este momento, henceforth, este momento, I want you te quiero. to follow. Te quiero. Um, I want you to lead me as I follow you. Te be my shepherd. That's all. Quiero que me sigas. Quiero seguirte como mi salvador. Sí. And thank you for Gracias. saving me. Gracias por salvarme. I love you. Te amo. Amen. Amen. Bienvenido a Silo. Eh, Bienvenida al cielo. Welcome to the kingdom of heaven. How do you say that? Bienvenida al cielo. Bienvenida. Cielo. Al reino de los cielos. Welcome to the kingdom of heaven. Bienvenida okay. Al reino de los Nazareth. <laughs> if it was, tell her that if it was for her, if she was the only person on this world, uh -huh. he would have died that same way for her on the cross. Tell her. Tell her. Um, si tú quieres, ella te puede dar instrucciones de lo que. De, de todo lo referente a lo que se de la Biblia y eso. No, dile que nosotros sabemos que no es la familia cristiana. No, se me la iglesia. Dile que nosotros somos la cristiana, que todo el mundo predica. And she has to forsake Catholicism. Oh, family. It's Christian. Yeah, but no Catholic. No, Christian. Bueno, but she. This moment, she's coming to the in, kingdom. I believe in God. Yeah. Jesus dying to cry for me so every life my my family yeah is crazy. Ah but she necessita she born in in Christian family too. No but it does now, it doesn't matter if she was born she had to speak it herself. Yeah. So you have to tell her she had to say it herself. Yeah. So this is your moment. Heaven is smiling because you just said what you just said. Yeah? yeah? It is well with you. It is well with you. Your father loves you. Jesus te ama. Tu padre te ama. Mucho, 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 mucho. <laughs> ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Sí. Ah, ¿Número? ¿Teléfono? Sí. Es de sol. Muy bueno. Mucho, claro. Ok. Bien. Nazareth, yeah? Mm -hmm. I will not forget this. <laughs> Thank you. Nazareth, God bless you, all right? My name is Kerry. Kerry Christian. Amen. See? Kerry Christian. And you? Jesus. Ah, Jesus? <laughs> awesome. All right, God bless you. Okay, Amen. I will be a uh, watch up. Okay. See? Yeah, I'll be in touch, okay? I can get you there as well, right? All right. Okay, God bless you. Amen. Come to Christ. I heard him say, I'm coming after you. I'm pursuing you, says the Lord. If you belong to me, I know you by name. I know the hairs on your head. I know when you get up. I know when you lay down. I know when you go out and when you come in. I know you, says the Lord. 
I know the thoughts that you think. I know the intentions of your heart. God says, I know you. And he said, just like he called. Just like he called the prophet Jonah. Listen to the word of the Lord. Jesus likes it. Do you want to call? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go. I heard him say, just like he called the prophet Jonah, and he said, Jonah, you are my chosen. Go to Nineveh and warn them that judgment is coming. You know what Jonah say? Me, Lord, donde esta ropa? He said, me, Lord, they're going to hit me. Nineveh are going to hit me. My friends are going to hit me. Jonah was loved by the world. And he loved his place. He loved his title. He loved his stature. But God said, Jonah, I called you. And Jonah said, God, I'm running from you. No. How many? Hi. How many? How many did Jesus Christ call and say, come out of the world and come into him? How many said no to the Lord? Well, God knows you by name. You think you've been dreaming dreams for nothing? You think you get visions for nothing? You think the gifts of God that operate in you are for nothing? God said, I've called you, but you said no to me. Come on, to the sun. It's going to be a while. He said, I called you, but you turned away from me. Jonah jumped on a ship, and if he was north, he went south. And if he was south, he went north. And if he was west, he went east. And he said, forget this thing. I'm running from God. This girl, she's preaching it too loud. Come to Christ. Jonah said, I'm running. Jonah ran. He jumped on the ship and he went to Tarshish. But is there any place that you can hide from God? The Bible tells us if we make our bed in the grave, God is there too. If we make our bed in Sheol or in hell, He is there too. There is no place that you can hide from God. None. He knows the intentions of your heart. He knows the thoughts of your mind. He knows. And I heard him say, Jonah ran from me. My own chosen prophet ran from me. Because he didn't want to lose his friends. He didn't want to lose his family. He didn't want to lose the stature that he had in the world. But God said, go tell the people. I'm coming after all those who are mine that have turned their back towards me. It's one thing for the devil to run after you. But it's a scary as hell thing for God to run after you. And he said, I'm coming to you. I'm going to pursue you with everything that I am. So Jonah ended up on this boat. And for a while, he felt safe. Jesus loves you. He felt safe. For a while, he said, ah, my plan succeed. I'm doing what I want. I'm standing on the boat. I'm safe. I do how to do this work. I do how to receive Jesus. I do how to do nothing. Ha! <laughs> Who can catch me? Look at me in the middle of the ocean on a ship. Can you hide from God? God was on his ship with Jonah and Jonah didn't know. And God's looking at Jonah and saying, Jonah, what you doing, Jonah? But Jonah convinced himself. He convinced himself that he was safe. I said, God is coming after you. He is going to relentlessly pursue. 
He's coming after you once your name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. He knew you before you were born. To so stand as a big woman and a big man and think you're all that. You're coming down to the level of a child to receive him as Savior by fire and by force. So Jonah feeling safe in the boat. And then a tempest or a storm begins to rock the boat. It begins to try and rip the ship apart. And the men on the boat who were not, they were idol worshippers. They began to get scared. Some people are running from God. And they think that they can save themselves. They think that they can provide their own safety, their own salvation. They think that what they're doing bowing down to idols is good. But God is sending a storm. It's a shaking that is going to shake down the shaky foundation that you think you're standing on. The storm came to rip the boat to shreds to get the man on board, poor Jonah, because he belonged to God. But God allowed him to go there. Why? His testimony was about to change the lives of the men he ran with. Woo! His testimony. His testimony was about to change the position of the souls that were on board the boat that he boarded. So they cast lots. So you went to a place, you stand up in a thing. You think you're safe, but the people watching you. You don't belong to the world, you belong to Christ. You don't belong to the world, you belong to Christ. You don't belong to the world, you belong to Christ. Amen. He says, you don't belong to the world, you belong to Christ. Amen. There was something different about Jonah that stood him apart. They cast lots. Whether they played with cards, whether they used sticks, children shouldn't wear earrings in their ears, especially little boys. I heard him say, I heard him say, they cast lots, and the lot fell to Jonah. God said, you belong to me. Jesus said, you belong to me. I sent you with the word, the good news that I came. I lived. I died. And I rose again for your sake. And you ran from me. But you are mine. And he said, go and get Jonah. So I don't know what your angel he sent, but the lot fell to Jonah. And they said, this man, who's he? He's strange. He's not like the rest of us. You see, when you worship God, and when your heart is pure, you're going to stand apart. You're going to be set apart. It doesn't matter how you try to fit in. You're going to stand apart. There's going to be a day. A defining day. And it's been intentional from the very beginning. I heard the Lord saying, it's intentional what he's doing. So the Lord fell to Jonah. And the men say, who's this strange man? He not worshiping idols. He not really in the world. Who is he? You know what they did? The men said, what shall we do? And Jonah said, take me and cast me overboard. So Jonah in the middle of the ocean in a ship, thinking he's safe, like some of us are very secure in the place that we are, with the job, with the family, and with the wealth, and with the stature, and with the titles. You think you're very secure, but God's shaking down shaky foundation. He's tearing it apart. And I heard him say, Jonah said, throw me, in the, throw me in the sea. 
But God didn't allow him to perish. You see, at that point that Jonah owned up to say, I am a Hebrew, meaning I am a child of Christ, under the blood of Jesus Christ, filled up and baptized with the Holy Ghost. I am. The minute that he said, I'm a Hebrew, he confessed that Jesus was Lord. And God was mighty to save him. So while they expected him to drown in a sea that became suddenly calm as Jonah went out of the boat, a whale, a huge fish, came from the depths of the ocean and swallowed up Jonah. All of a sudden and all at once, what was bad became worse. And what was worse became worse. From on top of the waters, he went to the bottom. He went to the grave. From being high and mighty, for they who exalt themselves against God will be humbled. And those who humble themselves before God shall be exalted. I heard the Lord say, Jonah went from on top of the water to the watery grave. He went to the grave. What goes in a grave? A dead man. Who has overcome death? Jesus Christ. The Lord himself has overcome death. Who has overcome death? Who is mighty to save? What is his name? Salvation is of the Lord. I heard the Lord say, just like I brought Jonah down into a watery grave. I'm bringing you into a place. I'm bringing you into a season. For there's a time to plant and a time to uproot. There's a time to live and a time to die. There's a time and a place and a season that the Lord has appointed unto all men for nothing is new under the sun. Nothing that is happening is new under the sun. I heard the Lord say, healing is the children's right. And in the name of Jesus Christ, that neck could be healed. I heard him say, I brought him down to a watery grave. That he might find me, the Savior, Jesus Christ, who brings you out of the grave, who brings you out of the depth. He brings you out of that deep, dark place called the grave and hell. The Lord God is his name. Jesus Christ is the name that brings him glory. You belong to Christ, and you belong to Christ. I don't care what religion and tradition you're in. You belong to Christ. You're coming into a season and a time where you're going to recognize Him as the God who saves. I heard Him say, just like Jonah, I'm bringing some of you out of that shaky foundation, and I'm taking you a little deeper. I'm going to allow you to fall. That your knees might be broken. And that you might know I am who I am. I'm the God who made you. I'm the one who saved you. And I'm the one. What you call? I'm the one who will deliver you. I'm the only one who is mighty to save. And my name is above every name. It's Jesus Christ. Just like he did it to Jonah, he took him from above the waters to the watery grave. He's about to take you from above to below. And you're going to find him, the firm foundation. God bless you. You're going to find him, the firm foundation. You're going to confess him as your Lord. As your God. The Bible says in Jonah 2, 2. Jonah chapter 2, verse 2. 
Stretch on till nine. You took me into the depths of the ocean, in the belly of a whale, and the seaweed wrapped around my head. You know when a situation brings a headache to you? Jonah was getting a headache. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. But the Lord already figured it out. All he had to do was get on his knees. And God had to take him into the belly of the whale to get on his knees. God is taking you from your comfortable lives into the belly of the whale. A situation, a circumstance that is deep. This serious business. God says, I care about your body. I care that you need to eat, drink, dress, and shelter. I care. But he said more than that. I care about your soul. I care about your spirit. I care about your spirit, man, that will live for eternity. So the Lord says, just like Jonah, I'm taking you from the land of the living to almost. Necesito ropa. La cuerpa es de casa de Dios. I heard him say, I heard him say, He's taking you from the land of the living to almost out of the land of the living. You're going to have a choice, just like Jonah. When the seaweed wrapped around his head and tightened, he was suffocating, he was drowning. He was drowning in the belly of the fish. Oxygen was running out. Three days and three nights in the belly of the fish. Who was three days and three nights in the belly of the earth? It was Jesus, wasn't it? The Bible says, like Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Jesus, the Son of Man, the Son of God, the Son of Man, the Son of God, would be in the belly of the earth three days and three nights. This prophecy came to pass. It came to pass. And he said, this generation needs to repent. It needs to stop looking around and look at self. I heard him say, Jonah knelt. He said, when my soul was fainted within me, that's when you give up. You say, Lord, I don't know what.